up guys it's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and we are taking a look at something a little different today I haven't touched on any uh, off-road driving on this channel yet but I wanted to do a quick review of Dirt 4 um, I was really excited about this game um, for a long time I heard about this game first a couple months ago and I've been coming kind of following it along and uh, really excited about the progress it had a lot going for it um, in the build-up and I knew it was a day one buy for me so here it is day one June 9th and uh, it's released here in Canada and um, I was excited I tried to play it this morning but there was I guess some last minute patching or something that had to happen so I didn't get it in before I had to go to work but uh, after work now I had a bit of time with it and I um, wanted to give a quick review uh, for you guys uh, from kind of a sim racers point of view it's getting like IGN gave it a 9.2 out of 10 um, I'm not going to do a full review like they did if you want a review of the game in its entirety go to IGN or inside sim racing or something like that um, but I just wanted to give you my uh, two cents on it and unfortunately <laughs> I can't rate it too high and like I said I've been really excited for this game maybe my standards were a bit high um, but it just does not deliver and reason being is the handling is terrible and I thought it was just me so I did some research online and it turns out um, sim racers are having a really tough time with this game it's a game it's not a sim um, and I guess we should have expected it. it. They didn't call it Dirt Rally 2, they called it Dirt 4. Dirt 3, of course, was very arcadey, and Dirt 4 seems to be following that trend a little bit more. Um, there is two styles. You can race it as a game or race it as a sim. I'm racing it as a sim, of course, but the handling is just nowhere near what it needs to be. Um, I love Dirt Rally for the challenge. I thought the the handling was fantastic the difference between heavy gravel and light gravel was was noticeable you know when you're on snow and ice you could tell and of course when it went to pavement it kind of fell off their physics weren't as good on on pavement but you could still tell pavement was different from anything else this just seems to be kind of thrown together into a mishmash and unfortunately it's not doing it for me um, but I do have a theory that this is the year of the racing game I'm gonna take this out onto the track in a bit guys if you're tired of watching me scroll back and forth around this car here um, it's an opal I guess it's an opal but um, I'll take it out on the track in a second, but I have a theory this is the year of the racing game. Um, Sims, uh, we've had some awesome updates to our, you know, big three. You know, R-Factor 2 got the DirectX uh, update, and there's been a couple of cool DLC packs for Assetto Corsa. Um, but, um, oh, and by the way, a new DLC coming for Assetto Corsa later this year. Uh, Laguna Seca, that's pretty exciting, so hopefully they batch that with a few cars. But anyway... Um, and then what's the other one? Automobilista has been continuing to grow. So our kind of big three of Sims have had a good year, but no major releases that immediately come to mind in 2017. However, uh, for gaming, we have Dirt 4, which you're seeing now. And later on this year on the PS4, they will get GT Sport, which as a racing game, it looks phenomenal. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, and then Project Cars 2 is going to drop September 22nd. We just found that out the other day. So uh, as far as uh, racing games, this is a great time. This is a great year. Racing Sims eh, is what it is. But uh, like I said, the, the existing ones are growing and it's phenomenal. It's a community unto itself. But uh, um, one more note here and then I'll get out on the track. Um, I did want to say that uh, I don't fault Codemasters for going this route with this game. Um, the fact that it's a racing game, um, I don't fault them. I was looking up the numbers. Okay, Assetto Corsa is uh, somewhere in the 1.5 to 2 million copies sold. That sounds great, but in by perspective, uh, if you put all the Gran Turismo sales together, so that's Gran Turismo alone. We're not even count counting Forza or any of the other racing games there have been. Gran Turismo alone has sold 75 million copies over the past however many years, and each uh, major release with a Gran Turismo name sells about 10 million copies. So. Assetto Corsa seems to be the leader of the sim world and it's selling one-fifth what Gran Turismo does every few years. So if I was a shareholder at Codemasters I'd be saying 
yeah, the sim guys can have their sims. Let's make a racing game. Let's make some money. So again, I don't fault them for this. Um, let's get out on there, on the track. So hey, as you can see, this thing looks beautiful. We're gonna need to get a good ranking going in. I've got the sound turned down, but the sound is phenomenal. Um, it's just the control. Um, this is only the third race I've had in this game, but you'll see I'll do quite well here, and that should not be... If you saw me race dirt rally, it's uh, my third race, I was absolutely terrible, but there's just no feel to this whatsoever. Of course, I can't put that into a video, but just trust me when I say it just feels like the car is kind of doing its own thing, and sure the wheel is responding visually but as far as performance it's just not there there's no feel to it it just feels loose uh, it feels very arcadey very gamey uh, not loving this not loving this so I'm only about two hours in I'm hoping steam will give me my money back and uh, I'm sorry to say that like I said I really want this game to be awesome the career mode looks so cool they've got a point system and a credit system for upgrading your car and whatnot but uh, I just don't think I can put the hours required into this and feel good about myself because it does feel very arcadey and I'm just not... Holy smokes, that's a cool effect. I didn't know they had fog. I need to map a button, obviously, to headlines. This is crazy. Wow, this is so cool, but uh, again, with the feel... I just can't fully endorse this game, but uh, visually, this is amazing. Wow, that fog is so cool, and we're back out of the fog. Uh, wow, did I just change my mind on this game? <laughs> Not entirely, but I will give them full credit, full props for that. That was one of the coolest things I have ever seen in a racing game. I love that. Wow, that was so cool. But... Um, no, like I said, the field just wasn't there. You saw I did not go off the track once. If you guys saw me race in Dirt Rally, um, it's a sad, sad show. <laughs> At my best, I'm pretty good, but when I was starting out, my third race in Dirt Rally did not look like that. I would have been all over. So unfortunately, guys, i got to give this one uh, kind of a thumbs down. Um, like I said, it's bad enough that I think I will try and get my money back from Steam. Just not happening for me um, beautiful graphics great sound um, ooh, that's lagging a bit hmm. getting frame rate drops that's interesting on my 1080 usually I'm up over a hundred frames but anyway uh, could be a minor bug but uh, there's a lot to love if you're a racing game fan as opposed to racing sim I would totally recommend this game I think it uh, has a lot going for it but uh, as sim racers we demand a little bit higher than this so apologies to Codemasters apologies to fans of this game but I just can't endorse it it's it's just mm, it's not doing it for me so uh, thank you guys so much for watching um, got a couple race room updates I want to uh, get through um, and uh, yeah, that's going to do it for now. Thanks again for watching. Uh, please hit subscribe and we'll talk to you next time.